So hey everyone, so today I'm going to be installing a pretty cool accessory on my truck, one that I need mainly because when I went to the access bed mat instead of the bed rug, one of the things that's missing from this is the ability for it to extend its protection all the way over to the tailgate. I do have a spray and bed liner on the tailgate though. What I want to do is install this rock block, which is a tailgate seal, and these kits actually come with a taper seal which protects this area right here and seals it up against the tailgate as well but essentially what this is is a seven inch rubber membrane this is the xl version of it which is the extra long version and it's going to span this gap right here all the way across it will create a rubber membrane between the gap in the tailgate here to cover this area all the way to this area so if anything falls rocks debris mulch anything like that it doesn't fall in this crack it rests right on that rubber membrane just keep stuff from getting down in there, especially if you have rocks or gravel or anything that could possibly damage the finish or damage your tailgate. So let's go ahead and start the process of installing this. So the instructions first say that you have to wash and dry your bed as well as your tailgate, which I did about a day and a half ago and then gave it time to not only air dry, but just to evaporate and dry off enough that I don't have any problem. Now, this Rock Block XL kit has this 3M adhesive tape on it. And this is really, really good stuff. But if you don't prep your tailgate correctly or if you don't prep the surface correctly, it's not gonna stick. Included in the package is this adhesion promoter. You get two packs of that, plus you get three packs of the alcohol wipes. The first thing you're gonna do is use these alcohol prep pads to clean the surface where you're going to apply your adhesion promoter and then ultimately tape down your tailgate seal. So first, I'm using my prep pad. I'm gonna prep this entire area where I want the seal to go. As you can see, it's a little dirty, not too bad. Now I've unrolled the rock block so you get kind of an idea of what it's going to look like once it's down. It's essentially a membrane that is going to fill the gap in here so it prevents this hole from being exposed thus protecting the paint as well as keeping things from falling back there. 3M tape on this side it's going to extend all the way out this way about an inch over the bed liner material and then on this side it's going to extend right about an inch, inch and a half over the bed line material on the bed itself. Now the first part of the actual application is to use this adhesion promoter by 3M. Just tear a pack open. Be sure you have gloves on because this stuff can get real tacky on you. And then you're simply going to put this where the adhesive is going to make contact with the bed itself. Just finishing up applying the adhesion promoter. Cleaning off some of these little remnants. Okay, now we're gonna apply the rock block. Now one of the things they advise you to do as you're applying pressure down, and you've removed the tape covering of course, to pull the actual rock block this way, apply pressure to it while you're applying it. So now that I have it adhered to the bed and the tailgate, the next step is going to be to trim off the excessive slack here. I don't have any scissors on me, but I do have a razor knife, which I'll be using to trim that down. Okay. 
Now I'm applying the taper seal, so to do that first you need to use your little alcohol prep pad I already did the other side. Just clean this area off really well. The taper seal goes on just as easy as the other part. You just take off your adhesive. On Ford, you want to run it right up here, right up against this edge, all the way down. And the taper seal just acts as an additional barrier to prevent trash and debris from getting in your truck. Then again, use a cape, use a razor blade, cut it smooth, and start on the other side. And there you go. We have the rock block membrane here. Just to show you how well this adheres with the tape they provide in the adhesion promoter, you can see these little areas that are pressed in as well as the areas around the bolt. It's not lifting up at all. And those are typically areas that you would see tape not adhere well, especially to a bed liner material. So it just shows the quality of the, the product they produce as well as the prep supplies they include with it. But everything is done really well. A few points that you want to follow is that you definitely want to apply pressure to it as you're putting it on. So you do want to pull it this way as you're pushing down and that just gives you a better, more even coverage application to prevent wrinkles or anything when you're closing it. Now they do have three products here that they've provided me. Uh, they actually provided me a fourth product which is a cap seal. So if you're going to put a topper on the back of your truck, it actually seals the gap between the topper and the bed rail right here. I didn't need that so I didn't bring it with me. However, they do have three different versions of the rock block. They have the combo kit, which includes the taper seal. This one is their standard size, which is about four inches width. They have the version without the taper seal. And then they have the XL version, which is the model that I put on my truck, which extends seven inches. So definitely think this is a good product for those people who are looking for this type of a solution. When I had my bed rug, I didn't have to worry about it as much simply because the bed rug extended all the way over the tailgate. But if you don't have a bed rug or just a spray and bed liner or a mat like this and you want to fill that gap, I think the Rock Block is a phenomenal solution. So now that we've finished up the install to show you that the Rock Block doesn't interfere with the tailgate function at all, I'm going to lift the tailgate. No binding, no issues whatsoever. Very happy with this product. Guys, if you're interested in this, I'll put the details in the description of this video. As always, if you like my videos, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks, everyone.